What's up, YouTube? My name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth. Today we are playing a frustrating, possibly difficult mission where we need to get from Themis in the asteroid belt to Mars within two years. We are transporting a VIP, in fact. Tight Delta V budget, tight time limit, out of play maneuvering, high gravitation, and we can also customize our fleet, but we probably won't need to. There is a USTA fleet headed for Themis, so we need to evacuate Captain Chandra and bring her to Mars, and where she will become the commander of the Martian Defensive Fleet. So in this mission, we we can sort of choose which spaceships we have. These are some pre-designed civilian ships that we can choose from. We have the Belt Trawler, for instance, with a sizable Delta V budget of 32 kilometers per second, but only an acceleration of 8.67. I'm not sure what that unit is. I guess that's micro... Uh, I don't know what that is. In contrast to the cargo freighter, which only has 9.75 kilometers per second of delta V, but a much greater amount of acceleration. Now, for doing things like planetary transformations, uh, uh, planetary transitions, I feel like this acceleration is kind of low. In fact, I've tried using the belt trawler on this mission and didn't have much success. Of course, I really had no idea what the hell I was doing. It took me a while to really figure this mission out. Now, I think the hydrogen tanker with... 2.23 kilometers per second of uh, kilometers per second of delta V I think is all that is really needed for this mission so you can design your own ship to complete this mission but it is perfectly possible to just do it with the hydrogen tanker and that's what I'm going to attempt now I have not actually beaten the mission but I've set up trajectories that would have won the mission for me so Captain Chandra, Admiral, I never did get to thank you for rescuing me from that mutiny, so thank you. And although I'm not keen to being relegated to a defensive command, I understand that is out of your control. But thank you for getting me out of harm's way for now. Well, you can't even... I'll have to get you to Mars. Like, I feel like this is a job that Captain Chandra should be able to do. Getting herself to Mars. But I guess they want my invaluable input. So here we are at Themis. Now I've noticed... Uh, <clears throat> when you start this mission... Sometimes your starting position around Themis is randomized. For instance, I'm there with an orbital period of four months and 24 days, but sometimes I've seen it where the orbital period was only a couple of days, much smaller, and like you start off on the other side of Themis. And of course, we are trying to get to Mars. So, this is a excellent starting position because we want to burn to escape Themis moving towards the inner planets. So we can do a burn here. We want to do a a prograde burn so we escape the uh, influence of Themis and sort of head into the inner solar system. Now, uh, I just set up my burn for just the minimal amount for now to escape Themis. Then I switch my frame of reference to Mars and we see we have this massive orbit going all the way around that's going to come nowhere near Mars. So using this first trajectory node, I still want to modify it some more I probably, I want to burn, as you can see, my trajectory is coming nearer and nearer to Mars. So, you should only need to burn about 6 kilometers per second of delta V on this initial burn out. And what we see here is this trajectory sort of coming in. Now, this is not what we want. This is completely wrong. Uh, we're going to need to use the radial component to modify it a bit. So we can... Let's see, we want to bring the orbit in closer, and still this isn't quite right. In fact, we should decrease the tangential burn. Yeah, this is much better. We're looking for this very nice, gentle circle trajectory coming in. Now, before I had way too much tangential, so back when it was like this, like what this is basically telling you is that you're coming in way too fast and you're going to miss Mars, it's going to be hard to get into in orbit around Mars. It's way too much delta V. I mean, we're not going to have enough delta V. We probably could do it were it not for the fact that we have only 30 kilometers per second of delta V. Oh, it looks like I picked um, a modified hydrogen tanker ship, so I have 30 kilometers per second of delta V as opposed to 22.7. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go with that, but hopefully we'll be able to complete the mission in 22.7 kilometers per second of delta V, which I think the stock hydrogen tanker has. And uh, I'll show you 
the design of my hydrogen tanker afterwards if you want to also use that same type of design to complete the mission. Yeah, we want to, as I was saying, decrease our tangential a bit. So that, that's looking much better. We can also do more radial adjustments to, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is perfect. This is the type of thing that you want. Now, we're only spending five kilometers per second of delta V. I think that's fine. Maybe we can... Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, we can come back here and modify this node if it turns out to be wrong. So we're on our way to Mars, but we'll need to do some adjustment burns partway there so we can make sure we actually get into Mars Martian orbit. So let's select Mars now and hit and center our view on there and zoom in. So here's Mars. There's the cargo station we're trying to rendezvous with. And let's select our hydrogen tanker again. As you can see, we are quite a ways away. We can select the orbital node here and we want to do another trajectory burn here so we can match planes with Mars. We want to do it at the orbital node and we just want to bring ourselves even closer into Mars. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now we have a opportunity to join the cargo station, but I bet that's not going to work. Yeah, we're going to need to do this manually. So we're still looking at Mars here. Let's see, I can probably adjust this node some more to bring the orbit in even closer. Just got to work with the camera angles to try and get things. So now I can select the radial and sort of move things in. I think I want to be on the other side of Mars. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We can adjust out of plane some more. All right, beautiful. I think we are making some progress here. And maybe adjust the radial some more. All right, yeah, we are right in the Martian system now. And adjust our out of plane, the blue one, some more. Now maybe we can try joining the cargo station like so. That's still gonna be way too much. Uh, it's gonna cost too much Delta V, but I think if we adjust our tangential, that might help us. Oh, that's not really working. Hmm, we might need to back up a bit here. So where did things go wrong? Let's look at the solar reference frame from Sol. Yeah, I think this burn here is too intense. It's bringing us in way too quick, and we are not able to slow ourselves down. Let's go back to a Martian frame of reference. I think if I modify the first burn some more, that might be better. If I modify the tangential, that could bring me closer to Mars. If I modify the out of plane, it helps a bit, not really necessary, I want because I want to adjust my orbital plane somewhere else. Uh, at the radial, yeah, I think that's probably good. I think this is more like, I think that's probably going to work out well. Yeah, if, we need to do some more work on that first node, I think. Okay, I don't think... that's not too bad. Oh, only 35 kilometers per second of Delta V. I think we'll be able to make it. We just need to... try burning... tangentially. Yeah, this is something... this is looking like something that we want. Yeah, now here we are in some sort of crazy Martian orbit. If we burn tangentially here... all right. And then we can match up with the cargo station. All right, and that, that uses up 21 Delta V out of 30. So let's get this going. Let's uh, take a look at the Sol reference frame to see what's actually happening. So yeah, we're just burning from Themis, going in a nice gentle arc. And then we are arriving at Mars. We sort of come in here and just match their... Like, we're, here we burn and we're sort of matching the orbital, the orbit of Mars, but we're slightly, uh, I guess, slower than them. And then we burn here and match Mars. But you can see how this trajectory is a bit different from the earlier one that I tried that had sort of more of a steeper change and came in at Mars at a much steeper angle. And so such a trajectory would have required much more Delta V.
Yes. We can't move the heavens to bring us to Mars, but we certainly can make use of the rules of the game and of the physics of the world and get us there. So, all we have to do is hit some turn buttons and get going. And watch this orbital dance unfold. Wow, one month is really the quickest that I can go? Well, I mean, we're on our way. Nothing can stop us now. Only perhaps some kind of accident. I assure you. All right. Incoming transmission. One year and four months. The record is one year and three months. Only 13.8 Delta V. Interesting. I got a bronze rating. I will accept it. This mission was a challenge. Lots of frustration. It really built some character. Thank you for bringing my daughter home, Admiral. Your mother can expect my unconditional political support when elections come up next year. Hmm. Interesting. Is that an Earth year? Do you still use Earth? I assume they do. As you can see, the Delta V spent was less than 22.7 kilometers per second, proving that you can do this mission with the stock ships that they provide you with. You don't need to do any ship design to complete this mission. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. So here, this is the typical hydrogen tanker ship that I was going to use for this mission. It has 22.3 kilometers per second of Delta V, which would have been enough. But the ship that I actually used on this mission was a hydrogen tanker copy, which was actually using hydrogen deuteride fuel instead of just hydrogen fuel. And this ship ended up with 30.2 kilometers per second of Delta V. I actually got this ship design from the Children of Dead Earth forums. I saw this ship design from a post by a forum member named Pockington, who uh, basically just showed us this ship design and how it had just a crazy amount of Delta V. So I just saw that ship design and I created it in here. So I mean, it has 30, it has a lot of Delta V, but you really don't need that Delta V. It's This mission is definitely doable with just the regular hydrogen tanker. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Rudy. I hope this video helped you with this mission. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you for the next mission. Have a good one.